Hello friends, how's it going? Today I really wanted to show you these new McDonald's toys that are out in the US right now. They're really, really cool and really fun. So it looks like with most of these toys, the idea is to press it down on the ground and then it makes a sound. So here he is, and there's actually a button on the bottom that you can press, and so that's why when you put it on the ground it does the noise. Uh, but hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Uh, but this is a pretty fun little figure. It doesn't do anything else actually it just makes the sound so I, I guess that might be just the theme of of these figures but here's Mario so next up number two is Yoshi Yoshi is my favorite character from Mario so I was really excited to uh, get this one so this is really cool because he just sticks out his tongue goes now like he does in the game uh, I can't do the Yoshi noise very well but again this one doesn't have any articulation or anything but it's still a fun looking figure so number three is Luigi launcher I'm a little concerned about how far this will go so here he is pre-launch uh, just pretty basic. Okay, get ready. Oh! <laughs> okay, so he doesn't go that far. Oh, but he has wheels! So I guess you can, uh, you can make him go farther if he's on a more flat surface than what I just did there. But Luigi's just so silly. This is definitely the type of thing that he would do. Next up, number four is just a one-up mushroom. So uh, it just makes the one-up sound, I assume, when you put it on the ground. Yep, there it is. <laughs> uh, nothing else, you can't really do anything with a one-up mushroom, but it's very nice and I like the sound. Number five is Invincible Mario, which I think is really cool. I was playing with this one earlier when it was still in the bag and uh, it goes through a cycle of different lights and stuff, kind of like when Mario's, you know, invincible, and he's got the same sort of like running pose as he would when he was running when he's invincible. But um, it's just really cool. I like it goes through different, you know, cycles and stuff. It's all the same colors, but uh, this one's really the one where it's just like. But anyway, it's so it just it just goes and goes and goes. It just, it doesn't stop. It's awesome. Then number six is the Koopa King himself. We got Bowser. This one looks like a pretty basic, you know, launcher toy. Um, his paint job's a little crappier than the other ones, but what did, what else do you expect from a McDonald's toy? But this is what you press to make him launch his thing, so let's see uh, how this is gonna work. I assume that it'll go decently far, so, ugh. oh yeah, wow. That went pretty far. So it comes with two like fireball launchers in case you lose one, which I'm sure is extremely easy to do because seeing as far as that went, uh, I'm sure that it could get caught in something and lost and all that stuff, but still a pretty fun figure. So that's it for my quick look at these McDonald's toys. They're really, really cool. I like them a lot. I wanted to also give a special shout out to my parents for actually finding these. Um, I don't usually go to McDonald's, so it was really nice of them to go and like get different ones and stuff. They're the best at questing for McDonald's toys. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thank you.